Hey guys, it's Paul, combat veteran, MMA fighter, YouTuber, and today we are checking out the recently released dash cam footage from the failed heist in South Africa. Now, before we get started, of course, hit like on the video, tell the YouTube algorithm that I am making quality content. Alright, let's get into it. One of the things that's interesting is that a lot of the initial reporting about this failed robbery proved to be incorrect. Uh, and this, I don't think, is any malevolent work by anyone. This is just how these sort of combat-type situations tend to break out, right? It's hard to get the facts straight, it takes time, and it's not really anybody's fault. But we've learned, first off, that the dash cam footage of Leo Prinsloo and his partner, uh, they are not the cash in transit truck. They are an escort vehicle. Second, we learned that it's not cash in transit. It's actually cell phones, which I think is sort of hilarious because cell phones, unlike cash, are individually serial numbered, and they're really easy to track that serial number, right? When your phone connects to a network or you download you know, what, certain apps, it can actually get the serial number of your phone. Right, your phone service provider and the manufacturer can get that number. So it's a lot harder to move stolen phones than it is to just launder illicit cash. So again, a curious decision uh, by the robbers or the enemy. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so here's what happened. There are two vehicles that we know of uh, in the enemy convoy. The lead truck is the white Ford Ranger. Sorry, Ford. That's the price of making a good car, I guess. Uh, they also used Ford Rangers, uh, the Afghan National Police, when I was in Afghanistan. They are actually quite durable little trucks. The second vehicle is this gray minivan, and that's what opened fire on Prince Lowe's vehicle. And that's a testament to the planning of the enemy, right? They knew that the lead vehicle would keep going and that the their secondary vehicle, their trail vehicle, would open fire and attempt to disable the escort vehicle. Now what's interesting to me is that this escort vehicle is actually behind the vehicle with the cell phones in it. Let's take a look. So you see Prince Lowe's first reaction is to understand that the enemy was engaging him from the side, right? Uh, I couldn't quite see in the video, but either they had a window down and were shooting out the window, or they had actually opened the door and were shooting from the doorway. So he hits the brakes, pulls his vehicle to the back, right, where there's not an easy easily visible opening. You know, the enemy can still engage him, but they have to totally reposition and there's not really an open uh, a window that they can open to shoot out of. So, he's um, put himself out of the immediate danger. Again, a testament to this guy's evasive driving. This is, you know, I, I want to point this out, right? When you are in a situation that get your adrenaline pumping. One of the things that happens is they call it tunnel vision and people actually do report that they focus more tightly on the individual threats in front of them. But you notice that Lou as a, or Leo as a function of his experience is not only taking fire, not only driving evasively, but now he's giving directions, right? He's instructing his partner, get the rifle ready. And again, that is the sort of of experience that you get. And again, we've learned that he is not just some cash and transit driver. He's actually a former member of a very elite uh, South African police special unit, sort of like a, a SWAT or HRT unit. And you see that in the fact that, again, he's got the poise and presence of mind to begin to give instructions to his driver, continue to drive evasively, and s assess the situation. Okay, so let's look about what he's coming up on. You can see the vehicle on the left. I think that is probably the vehicle with the valuables. It appears that the two people that he passed on his left may be the actual drivers of the vehicle, that they have 
once they saw these armed men getting out of the pickup in front of them, probably took off running because they don't want to die. Uh, definitely understandable. And there are the robbers getting out of the lead enemy vehicle, the white pickup. So, Leo Prinsloo drives straight through uh, between putting his truck between the enemy vehicle and the target vehicle, and in the process coming real close to running these uh, robbers over, which is pretty, pretty bold, pretty ballsy, um, and may have actually saved the lives of the drivers if they were continuing to flee, or if they were still in the vehicle or were close to it, right? Maybe buying them a little extra time. Again, he may have also been trying to actually run over these robbers. I doubt he would have been too upset if he did. Ah, okay, so here's what appears to have happened next. The white pickup trucks, the at least some of the people in the white pickup truck, realized that the trail escort vehicle, right, Leo's vehicle has not been taken out per the plan and that they need to do something to get this guy uh, get this vehicle under control right because they can't they need time to extract the cell phones to break into the vehicle so they have to get this escort truck out of the way so the vehicle comes up on Leo's left side I can't tell if he is trying to either block it off and stop the vehicle from passing Right to try to cut it off and sort of keep it from speeding past him so he doesn't have enemy on two sides of him, or if he's deliberately trying to let it get to his side and then hit it and try to either run it off the road or run it into the barrier, or if he just wants to disrupt a shooter who's in that vehicle. Right There could be a second passenger with a gun who's getting ready to pull up alongside him and engage um, Leo's vehicle, so he just hits them real hard and disrupts that person's aim. No matter what, it's, it's, again, a sound tactic um, to deal with this approaching vehicle. Okay, and the, the, the recently released footage cuts off there. I can totally understand why they would cut that off because there is, I'm sure, an ongoing investigation into this. They probably don't want to release information containing names, containing uh, people's faces, um, or even uh, other identifiable information like license plate numbers and that sort of thing. So, again, thank you guys for tuning in. If there are other videos you want to watch, let me know in those comments. And uh, be sure to hit like on the video. Check out my second channel, check out my Instagram, all the links down below, etc. Right, buy some merch. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys later.